how do we get to this problem um, through curricula, through lesson plans, through your books, especially the children's books and young adult readers that you're targeting now? Because it seems to be a cultural shift as we move away from the written word in a physical presence that, that we're having a more difficult time attracting readers. Uh, and maturing readers. Well, I, I, I think one of the things, especially in, I, I think middle school is vital. That's why I write a lot of books at, toward middle school kids. I, there's, there's two sides. One, you know, real bright kids, if, if they don't, uh, uh, you want them to have, a, to have broad reading tastes. So that's the important thing in terms of bright kids, to make sure that they read a lot so that they're, I mean, right now we have a society where it's so like right, left, black and white. Well, things aren't black and white. Things aren't right and left. They're, they're, and, and the more you read, the more you, you understand that. And I think the wiser you become, I think the better citizen you become, I think the better spouse you become, I think the better parent you become. You know, if you've, and, I, and I think reading certainly is one way to that. So, so for, it's for a kids form that of are civic already engagement, absolutely, and for kids who are, uh, you know, all, you know, good readers already, it's important that they're reading broadly. Just as important, or maybe more important, are kids who, if they don't become competent readers in middle school, not great readers, but competent readers, how are they going to get through high school? Seriously, Abraham Lincoln, and it's not that they're stupid; it's just they're not good readers. And and you know, look, there are a lot of problems in the world. Um, health care, uh, uh, global warming. As individuals, we can't do much about it. But w almost all of us can do something about the reading problem. In, start with your house. Are your kids or your grandkids or your nieces and nephews, are they competent readers or good readers? Are you, you know, making sure that they go to the library, encouraging them to read? Are you, every holiday or birthday, are you considering a book being one of the the gifts. Why not? How crazy that is. If you're, look, m most parents wouldn't send their kids out with a handicap out into the world if they could do something about it. Well, if you send your kids out into the world and, and they're not competent readers, you're sending them out there with a handicap. And that's your job. That's your job. You know, teach your kid how to ride a bike. Fine. Not a bad thing to do. Teach them how to throw a baseball. Okay. Teach them how to cook a little bit. Terrific. You, you, you must teach them how. You must help them. You must get them books. You must force the issue if you have to. When our son Jack, Jack's a, a bright guy. When he was at, he wasn't a big reader. And that summer, and summer is a great time to do this stuff. And we said, you know, Jack, uh, uh, you're going to read every day. And his response was, do I have to? And we said, yeah, unless you want to uh, live out in the garage. We, we read in our house. But we're going to go out and get cool books for you. And we get everything from Percy Jackson to Wrinkle in Time to My Maximum Ride. And by the end of the summer, he had read a dozen books. And his reading skills improved dramatically. When he took his, his uh, SSATs, which you, you do for, he got an 800 in reading, which is a perfect score. So there's what happens when you get a bright kid and you force the issue a little bit in a fun way. The fun way being, yes, you're going to read, but we're going to get you cool books. And they're going to be as good or better than the movies that you might see or the TV shows or whatever. Uh, and and, and, and with, with kids that, are, that aren't competent, it's absolutely crucial. And you, you know, parents have come up to me all the time, I can't get my kids reading. And I'm like, I'm, well, do you get them to the dinner table? Yeah. Well, you just have to make it a thing in your house. I mean, do you have rules in the house like you can't tramp mud on the living room rug? Yeah. Okay, you have to have a rule. The kids have to read because if they're not reading, they're just going to have trouble in life. 